What's up, Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are going to be general messages for the star sign of Scorpio for June 2020, so take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you would like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I have already pulled your card, so let's get right into it. All right, Scorpio, we got the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Swords reversed as outcome. The Ten of Wands represents... An oppression card, it kind of represents that the struggles are the worst that they are going to get. It is oppression, but it is also resilience. This person is continuing to carry the burdens. Whatever situation this is, the Ten of Wands, this burden, she is carrying her burdens with her into June. And it, it kind of represents that this is the end of a situation. The Ten of Wands is the worst that the struggle is going to get in the situation. And I kind of definitely do see you making a choice on what to drop. I say that because of the Queen of Swords represents somebody that is, she's a people's champion, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. She represents somebody that would know a lot of pain, and because she is a queen, so she is a peer, she is her higher mind self, self mindset, she is very mature, emotionally mature, and physically older, um, but she represents somebody with a lot of intellectual wisdom, and she knows who not to have in her life, and what situations that she doesn't need in her life, and I kind of see that, obviously, this kind of energy isn't doesn't really serve anybody's <laughs> purpose here, it is kind of, it is an oppression card, it does represent that there are a lot of struggles here, but I see a choice being made to break this I kind of think so the ten of wands is kind of <laughs> with a suit of wands it's kind of passion and fire and temptation and lust and you take all the ones and you take all the ones in, and they represent these things that you're doing and you carrying them all at once I kind of see you taking a stand and being like no 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 I don't want all this energy all at once or no I don't like the way that you're fighting with me all the time so it could be it this is the choice to drop either a person or a situation um, it, it, take it how it resonates it could be literally deciding that you don't need the stress that somebody is giving you it can also be representative of a situation where you're just you're just honestly choosing what is better for you in the situation it could be a job situation it doesn't necessarily have to be a person but when I get the two of swords upright it represents that there's a stalemate not being made you need to make a choice and it's not happening but when I see it uh, in the reverse I kind of take that as well the reverse is an opposite so it's always the opposite of what it is upright so this represents to me coming out of a period of time of not knowing what to do so I definitely see you making a choice and holding your the sword here like the queen of swords holding that truth like it, it is it is your guide and it can be used as a weapon so I'm going to tell you not to use it to hurt people and you, if this is a situation with a person that you don't want to deal with anymore you don't have to be an asshole about it you don't have to be like no like you're the worst thing that's ever happened in my life no do it peacefully do it respectfully be kind about it be very kind about it um, but also stand your ground and put up your boundaries and be like, no, I'm not. I'm just not accepting this anymore. That's it. That's just as simple as that. I'm just not dealing with it. It doesn't have to be this big to do. It doesn't have to be this large, painful moment. Just be clear on where you stand because I do see a choice being made. Um, I would like to see where does this go for Scorpio after the Two of Swords reversed comes up. Yep, all the victory, all the success that comes with this. It is you standing up for yourself in a situation, deciding where you want to go, either in, in, in a life direction, something that you're holding on to stress from the past, or an actual person, whatever way you want to look at this, you are releasing negative energy from your life, things that do no longer serve you. This, this ten of wands, this oppression that you are carrying around you from some aspect of your life, um, it's not serving you and you are once you let it go you are literally going to step inside of your powers You are going to take over you are going to get there. You have all the success and victory This is an ex insane triumph card, especially after I see somebody coming out of oppression This is an insanely good card to tell you that you made the right choice Scorpio you made the right choice. I'll see you later. Peace out my mood trip. Take care